Hi Virgo, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of August 2022. This is for any Virgo looking for any guidance and messages in their daily lives. Remember if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit and notifications for any new updates, okay? So today Virgo, we're going to start off your reading with the Hidden Gem Oracle, then we're going to do the In the Shadows Oracle, plus some Rider Waite cards for your reading for the month, okay? So what do we need to know for you for this month? Virgo, let's begin. All right, so what do we need to know for Virgo? Universe, please give me a message for Virgo, please. What do we need to know here for Virgo? Okay, so we have, I bury myself in work to forget you, okay? So this could be definitely your energy here. Some of you are working, distracted here, trying not to remind yourself of your person right now. You may be separated. You may not be speaking. Uh, you may miss each other very much. So this could be a past love. This could be X energy, of course, or it could be someone who you're dealing with right now. So let's find out what they have to say about you. Oh, we already have a card. So we have here, I pretend you don't mean that much. So this person, okay, has some sort of issue with uh, opening up their feelings towards you. They may pretend like they don't care. So you're getting mixed messages from this person. This is for whoever this resonates with, Virgo. Uh, this is someone in your life that wants to come towards you, but is afraid to, and therefore they're hiding it by pretending, okay? So let's find out what we need to know here for you. Universe, let's do your reading. So Virgo, what do we have in store for you for the month of August? What do we need to know for Virgo, please? That's too many. <laughs> Universe, please give me a message for Virgo, please, for the month of August. What does Virgo need to know here, please? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. All right. So <clears throat> I'm getting here, there's a false start happening for you here. There's something uh, blocking the two of you from communicating, taking action towards each other. I'm getting here, someone has to stop. So maybe you guys cut it off. Maybe for some of you, you may have had a fight here. Or I'm getting that someone uh, refused an offer, okay? And remember, this has much to do with the way that they feel and how they can't express it towards you, so they pretend like they don't care about you, okay? Universe, what else do we need to know here for Virgo, please? This one came out. This is the Nine of Swords. So for many more of you, Virgo, there seems to be something that stresses you out here. This is something of a card of worry here, okay? So I said that you were distracted with work here, but a lot of you still think about it at night when you're not working. So you think about this person, you uh, wonder what could have been here. You're wondering why you can't be together. You're wondering if they even feel the same because you're confused here, okay? And so your next card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting here that some of you will see that there is an opportunity here that will come into play here. So this person may come back and apologize for some of you, okay? For others, you may be the one may reaching out and making some sort of offer here. Maybe you hang out or maybe you offer a gift here or even a message here, okay? Could be a text message. And so you're trying to fix something. You're trying to rekindle this friendship or relationship here with this individual here. Let's find out more for you, Virgo, okay? All right. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. So there is someone, 
it feels as if they're not going to receive the offer very well i'm getting here for a lot of you i'm getting that this person doesn't want to make any certain commitments right now they may be uh distracted here they may be uh working on something privately emotionally okay internally um but they do care for you it's just they don't wish to show it and i can see that their energy is blocking you from coming through to them okay and so you're trying to make an offer here oh yes just like this is a love offer knight of cups in reverse though so you're trying to make a love offer here you're trying to open up your feelings and things will just be uh, either stopped this person will shy away or block you or pretend that you they don't they'll tell you that they're not interested or they don't want to be with you but in reality there's mixed signals that you're getting here okay and so i'm getting a lot of energy of making uh some sort of break here for some of you taking a break sorry and reconsidering how you want to approach this individual our next card is the queen of swords in reverse yeah i'm seeing that if you come towards this person with a love offer they're going to verbally attack you or say something mean to you or try to like push you away they're not gonna have it they don't want anything to do with it right now they're going you're going to push them further away is what i'm getting here if you initiate some sort of uh, interaction here uh, heavily with emotions or some sort of love offer here okay for others they may be still dealing with a lot of matters here there may be even no spoken word between the two of you for a while here as well okay i'm getting no communication for some of you someone's feelings may be hurt here so think about who this applies to this uh to you virgo someone here is going to be hurt someone here wants to make a love offer but someone here may refuse and so let's find out more about what we need to know here we can get some clarifiers as well if we need it okay universe let's find out more for virgo please what does virgo need to know what does virgo need to know please okay we have the queen of cups there's a lot of people here coming into your reading this could be somebody else coming into your life here there could be another individual here someone who could be a water sign of course so cancer pisces or scorpio and with the queen of swords you could be dealing with an air sign i'm seeing strong air okay so gemini libra or aquarius but it seems to me this person's going to be on your side with certain things. They may be someone who's very loving and caring and who may be already in your life here for some of you. Universe, let's get a clarifier on the Queen of Cups, please. I want to know more about this individual here. So, Universe, please give me a clarifier on the Queen of Cups. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Feels like this person has come out of some recent trauma here. They may have recently broken up with someone, so they are available. They're certainly moving past this point now to the point where they are healing or are fully healed. But they may be somewhere in your life they may find themselves uh, approaching you or you may be approaching them but i'm seeing that they're going to come into your life okay so keep this in mind let's find out one more card about the queen of cups please what else do we need to know about the queen of cups what else do we need to know about the queen of cups here universe please give me a message for the queen of cups please oh <sighs> I have here the Ace of Swords. Sorry about that. So, yeah, this person is going to be communicating with you. They've just come out of uh, some sort of uh, recent trauma here. Could be a relationship, okay? They are broken up or they also may have 
uh, had some recent things happen to them that they've been uh, really worried about, but things are looking better and they are going to be communicating with you. So you're going to get communication from this person. And like I said, could be a water sign, but they could have strong water in their energy here. Um, but this is somebody new who's coming in. Okay. Uh, let's find out more about this queen of swords energy. What more about this queen of swords person, please? Find out more about this Queen of Swords. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This person may not have a lot of money or wealth. They may also uh, be someone who's currently looking for work. Maybe I'm, I'm, uh, they are uh, a freeloader for some of you, okay? Uh, for some of uh, the others, they may be uh, worried about their finances or in a position where they're still working on building their empire, okay? So they could be busy working too much for some of you. This is someone in your life that uh, either is a workaholic or too focused on gaining money and their uh, wealth here. So someone who's concerned about that, their image here, maybe a little bit too much. All right, let's see here. We have the five of swords here in reverse. So to further clarify the queen of swords here, I'm getting here with this energy that you may reconcile with this person. You may have a fight or falling out or they may avoid you or they may say some mean things to you, but somehow you two may work things out. You may find yourself again, having to make a choice here or at least seeing what's going to happen to you. Okay. Now let's find out what your last card here is for your reading for August. Oh, there it is. Okay. We have the seven of wands for you. So there's going to be some obstacles that you're going to have to overcome here. There's going to be a place in time here in the end of August where you're going to find yourself uh, having to stand your ground, having to put up a fight, having to even defend yourself over something. OK, there may also be too many uh, uh, people in your life that you're focusing on that you're going to have to somehow detach from. For others, you're going to feel on the defensive about your love life here okay but whatever it is there's an energy of movement and there's an energy of uh wanting to get things done wanting to uh further relationships wanting to find the passion okay and you're ready to take this on of course all right so keeping in mind your message is i bury myself in work to forget you sure you will but you still also think about this person at night, you think about this person on you in your free time. So work is only a partial answer to what you're going through right now. And whether or not you decide to reconcile with a past person here, okay, know that there are other individuals coming into your life. And their message to you is I don't I pretend you don't mean that much. So whoever this is in your life, that you somehow get mixed messages with, but then at the same time, they seem like they're faking uh, trying to get rid of you know that they're doing it for other reasons and that you just have to respect their boundaries okay all right let's get the bottom of the deck here to get your advice it is the eight uh, sorry the nine of pentacles in reverse here and the advice for this card when it comes up would be to focus on yourself more perhaps you have been letting go on certain things okay so this is just to empower yourself, okay, and treat yourself and do whatever is needed to make yourself feel good, okay? This energy is almost like the Empress energy, but it seems to me like you lack the uh, energy to put forth more uh, effort into your uh, either appearance or just your health and your, uh, you know, uh, your energy and your spirituality. And so you need to build all these things in order to become a uh, this nine of pentacles person and so in reverse means there's still things that you need to work on and focus on here and once you focus on these things somehow you're going to find things coming to you a little bit easier okay but in the meantime there are definitely people in your life here people that you'll be dealing with make sure that you treat them well and remember that you do always at the end make your own choices so virgo i hope you guys uh really enjoy the reading remember if this video doesn't resonate with you uh, please just take what does and leave with the rest, but you know, we can't always get everybody. So I do apologize. Maybe we'll get you next time. Uh, thanks for watching with me till the end Virgo and bye for now.